Fairfax. Coming at you 14 July. Is Bastille Day today? I think so. Frenchies are loving it. Um, congrats to all our French listeners. Or have fun or whatever. Bastille it up. Um, anyway, let's... Uh, Let's take a look at these charts, take a look at what's going on. Obviously, we had some news yesterday about the COVID cases in California. Shook things up a bit. First chart I have up here is the Aussie. I've um, been waiting for this to turn. Now we have a triple bottom down here at 22, which is pretty interesting. Put in a bunch of tops at 70 cents, which made a lot of, made a lot of uh, common sense. Um... So we'll see if this can follow through on the downside. Didn't quite bearish in golf the way Kiwi did, uh, but still looks like she may want to turn. This is the four hourly chart. So we'll be interested to see how things react um, below 69.20 today. Kiwi, uh, a little bit more violent just because we bearish engulfed. See, we closed. Um, 65.39 after a doji uh, if you follow candlesticks or have for more than 9 minutes um, the sequence of doji bearish engulfing uh, is very very powerful um, and points to a pretty bearish outcome so we are core short kiwi not sure if or where we're going to add um but this looks, this looks pretty bearish. Um, this is probably not that useful now. It's already been through down to 24 already. We're here at 39. Um, probably the 49.59 sell today uh, is interesting, with the expectation that this is not going to get back. Um, to 66 cents. Careful on your risk reward, depends where your averages are. Um, tricky to trade these type of patterns or this type of style just because um, the stops are far away. So the math um, or the risk reward, whatever you want to call it, gets all fucked up. Anyway, short Kiwi. Kiwi Yen. Uh, we were getting ready to plunge through uh, 70 cents. We did not. Um, down to 93, back to 14. Like Aussie and Kiwi, this looks like she wants to turn. We did print these 88 lows here. It's a tricky pair to trade. Um, but we like core short Kiwi and we have we are short a bit of that as well. Um, we'll see. Moving on to um, the other side of the equation. Now this euro yen chart is is for risk on. So if you believe this is all uh, horseshit and that things are going to turn and go happy again, this is a nice chart for you. Um, obviously, if things clear up, equity markets go up. For this current regime, as some of our readers mentioned yesterday, um, equities higher means dollar lower, so the euro dollar will go higher if equities turn. And now this euro yen has just an interesting technical setup, right? 122 the figure, super important. 122.10, loads of clear air above. Next resistance is 123.48. Um, very interesting euro yen uh, if we go back risk on obviously ECB um, is Thursday so uh, and I think we have BOJ tomorrow morning European time 5.30 so maybe today is not the day we may take a pause today um, but if you are risk on uh, which we are not uh, but we're we're not adverse to trading it if it gets up there. You know we're price driven here, so we don't, we're pretty agnostic. 
uh, even though we like to tell a good story, uh, we're, we're pretty agnostic here. Um, so Yurian looks looks interesting. Um, let's go to stocks. S and P's obviously it's a big ass red four hourly bar. If you just scan the history of the charts, when you see a bar like that, there's usually follow through. Um, the daily bar is pretty meaningless. Um, you know, we kind of got to these range highs, 26 and a quarter, uh, the high. We're short, um, but we're not married to this. So, I mean, we're going to, we're going to play the currency side of this a little bit more than the S and P side. Um, but this looks pretty bad. I don't often mention NASDAQ because I don't trade it too often, but this is worth a look. Bang. That's like a holy, it's like the holy grail of candlesticks there. Massively overbought market. Bearish engulfed at the all time highs. Um, that looks pretty negative. So, but again, real tricky to trade this, right? So if you're short here, uh, sort of right here, let's say 10, 623, you have to leave a stop at 11071. Your math is all fucked up on this. So what? Um, you want you're gonna get a four thousand. You're looking for four thousand points. Ten to one on that is four thousand uh, Nasdaq points. So for us, we're just using it as a guidepost, saying this is risk off. We're certainly not gonna risk four hundred Nasdaq points um, because there's no way we're gonna hold this for four thousand or even two thousand, which is five to one. Um, so careful in these setups. They're for us. They're more telling of the general story than tradable. So be careful. Gold not doing much. If this does go risk off, there will be some selling of gold. Just margin calls and people having to liquidate shit. Um, probably wait for that to finish and maybe scoop some up um, but there also might be some risk below 97 here if you look at it a little bit more closely got a couple of lows here and a pivot 16 1796 and a half um, we're sick of gold but I'm just mentioning it dollars are obviously turned a bit but didn't turn a lot not sure what to do with dollars are obviously we're kind of I love this 50 level up here 7 1753 but not much to do in dollars are as far as, as far as we can see uh, and dollar yen weirdly bid yesterday I guess it was just the euro yen dragging it up uh, BOJ tomorrow not expecting too too much from them um, but we're just watching this 106 level. I think inevitably this has to trade. Um, going into the election, this is going to be a, a very important day uh, in our trading year. So we're just mentally gearing up for it. Uh, will it happen this week? Doesn't look like it. But, it, you know, it's one of these levels now. I think you just have to just have it in the back of your head and be ready for it. We missed this one yesterday because we weren't paying attention. It was late. Euro Aussie looks like it's turned. We talked about getting long through uh, 162.95, 163. That worked pretty well, as you can see. These bars here. Um, this is 90. Went straight up to um, 44. You could probably buy this thing back down at 163. Um, 
it's kind of a sneaky risk off trade euro Aussie right you're heading into this euro risk the back end of the week that could easily become euro positive if they sort their shit out um, euro Aussie top side looks compelling but we'll have other chances to buy this um, we're not really in the mood to buy dips in euro Aussie anyway focus here is um, Aussie downside. We're core short uh, Kiwi, Kiwi yen. Also, um, these are risk off metrics. Um, plus the charts were stretched, so this is our focus as far as the calendar is concerned. Not much going on today. The fun really uh, starts tomorrow. We do have ZEW out of Germany, um, and Brainerd speaks out of the Fed late. So. The calendar looks real light today. I guess you German CPI, but no one gives a shit about that. Uh, that's going to come in soft. Um, so we've got these positions. We're going to see uh, what the U.S. brings for the equity market and the COVID tallies. Should be quiet in, in the European morning. Um, but be sure to try and keep your powder dry because the real fireworks uh, are going to be in the back end of this week. All right, said enough. Good day, traders. Catch you tomorrow. Ciao.